I want to show you today how we made a mold, a production grade mold, for this eight and a half inch long fluke. Uh, everybody's fished a fluke before and it's a very versatile lure, but even the magnums aren't quite big enough for some of the different species that we fish. So we wanted to take the VAC 50 and make a production grade mold that we can inject soft plastics into to make single color or multi-colored lures. This process enables you to make your own production grade molds of your own custom lures without having to go to a machine shop to have aluminum molds cut. You can do it in a fraction of the time and a fraction of the cost. We start how we oftentimes do using Sculpey 3, which is a polymeric clay. It's a clay that stays soft until we bake it. And once it's baked, it hardens up so we can sand it, clean it up, and get it ready for molding. Once we like the design of it, we're gonna make a quick one-piece silicone rubber mold so we can reproduce this and make multiple masters. We make a little mold box, mix up our high strength two silicone rubber, and pour it over our clay original. Once the high strength 2 is cured, we remove it from the mold box and remove our master. Now we mix up some alumilite white to make reproductions of our master. The alumilite white cures in about 10 minutes. So we flex the mold and remove our first master. Then we repeat the process and make as many masters as we want. Here we're making three different Illumilite white masters. Then we go ahead and clean those up and get ready to make our production grade mold. We start by making a bed of synthetic modeling clay in which we'll embed the lures halfway down. This will replicate the second half of the mold and enable us to pour the first half. When we clay up the originals, we want to be very, very neat and clean with the parting line. This is where the two halves of the mold will come together on the loop. The cleaner the seam line is, the less flash you'll have, and the better your lure will look. We add a sprue to the nose of the lure, and a gate at the tail of the lure. construct our mold box to contain the back 50. We also add a little bit of Vaseline into the belly slot to make sure it releases from the master. We're making a hard tool and we're pouring it over hard originals. So we need to make sure there's no negative drafts and make sure the originals are mold released well. When you first open the containers, it's most likely that the aluminum powder is settled to the bottom. It'll take a few minutes to get that back suspended. But once suspended and thoroughly mixed, go ahead and measure out equal sides of the A and B by weight. Then mix them together and pour them into your mold box. Once the back 50 is cured, remove the clay and start to clean up any clay that's remaining around your originals, the sprue, or the gates. Now we're ready to add some locators. We simply use a drill bit and make some small impressions throughout the mold. Then mold release it really well and repeat the process of measuring, mixing, and pouring the back 50. Once the second half is cured, we're ready to demold. Break away your mold box and use a screwdriver or chisel to gently tap the mold apart. Now we're ready to remove the originals, the sprue, and the gates. As I mentioned earlier, we have a hard tool and hard originals. These are very precise molds that are made, and it picks up every bit of detail. 
so it may be a little difficult to remove the originals. When you remove the originals, be very, very careful not to scratch the mold surface. Any imperfections, scratches, or nicks in your mold will show in your finished lure. The areas outside the direct mold cavity are not as important. Those are the flange areas that don't reproduce any of your detail. Now we're ready to file the mold or sand it to clean it up and take away any sharp edges. We're also ready to open up the gates and the sprues and get ready to pour our first baits. Here we're going to make a two-tone colored bait. Using some Aluma dust, we're adding some blue for the back and some light yellow for the bellies. The first step is to pour the bellies and let those cool slightly so we can put the mold together. Once they're cooled enough that they're not going to flow, we close the mold, clamp it, and get ready to inject the blue. Once the mold cavity is filled, we remove the injector and make sure the sprue hole is topped off. Once the aluminum cell is cooled, we're ready to demold. We remove the clamps, separate our mold, and we have our first parts. Now we're ready to trim them and water test. We designed the tail intentionally to be this triangular shape, so then we can trim it and create different tail designs to our liking. Now we're ready to see what they look like in the water using some different hooks, as well as see how the different tail designs perform. Finding big enough hooks was one of the issues. Some of the hooks that we found were Patrick Sabeel's swim bait hook and some weighted swim bait hooks from Title Shot. If you have questions on how to make your own production grade lures, give us a call. We'd be more than happy to help you out with this process, the back 50, or any of the make lure products.